So Marty, kind of a follow-up from our previous conversation in terms of LinkedIn, because we know that the power of LinkedIn, the power of networking, your network is your network, because as we mentioned in the previous, we don't know who this person is. It's all about networking. Someone knew who someone, and they were hiring, and they can put your name or they can put your resume on top of the rest. And then that's why you can get an interview, and but the rest is on you. But again, we talked about in your uh, introduction that the hidden job market. So that's the power of networking comes in in terms of those hidden job markets because sometimes we know that a lot of jobs, even before they advertise, they know who they are hiring, but they need to advertise that. So how can uh, the networking be in you, especially for maybe newcomers or immigrants or students who are not used to networking that's like, I'm going to an event and I'm going to shake people that I don't know how I'm going to sell myself. So how can they be confident in doing that? Sure. Now, networking takes practice. Mm. It's not something that everybody is comfortable with at the beginning. Yes. I will tell you that at least 70% of all the jobs that are acquired, at least in the United States, have some element of networking that helped enable that job to take place. Now, yeah. the fact is, is that a lot of job seekers make the mistake of spending an inordinate amount of their time chasing after online ads. And it's not a good use of your time mm -hmm. because only about 15% of all the jobs that get hired and filled are filled because of an online ad, whether it's placed on LinkedIn, Indeed, Career Builder, Zip Recruiter, doesn't matter. Yes. Not a lot of jobs are filled because of advertising. But the majority of jobs are filled because somebody has made a referral. Yes. Somebody has gone ahead. They've gotten to know about your background or somebody who you know has introduced you to somebody on the inside, somebody yes. inside the company that's of interest to you. Um, and that person now can become a champion for you, an mm -hmm. advocate. Uh, because let's face it, most companies today are paying on average somewhere between one and two thousand yes. dollars to employees if they make a recommendation to fill a position and that person ends up getting hired. And why do they do this? Because it's a whole lot cheaper than paying for advertising or an yeah. external recruiter who they're going to have to pay 25 to 33% of that person's first year salary. Um, so many companies are choosing not to advertise and instead are relying and looking to their own employees to make recommendations for potential candidates because yeah. history shows that when somebody is referred into a company by somebody on the inside, that person ends up being a longer term employee. Mm -hmm. and, that, and it happens that way because the people on the inside know and understand what the company really needs. Yeah. Oftentimes they know it better than the recruiter who's on the inside because yeah. they might be from the department that's looking to fill that position. So mm -hmm. I can't say enough about you know the value of networking. You've got to, you've got to do it, you've got to practice it. And as you do it more often, you'll get a lot more comfortable. I tell my clients and the students, uh, identify at least in your mindset to meet three new people and maybe have a question about what's their intention from attending this event. And as we mentioned previously, uh, talk about them, show interest in those people. And a lot of times those networking events, now that we are back in person, there's a lot of maybe food involved and around food people can talk and have a conversation but uh, as you mentioned it's all takes practice and it it will take time but it's important to have that aspect in your job search absolutely yeah, yeah. so uh again everybody should take to heart the fact that somebody in your network and oftentimes is someone you did not know before you started your search mm -hmm. it is the conduit and the key to you getting your next job and yes. that's why Always expanding your network is so important. Okay. Thank you for those great tips, um, Marty. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Marty.